I think it's one of the most organic things that can ever happen to a person is finding their their own voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, all you have to do is search for the things that you like. Mm -hmm. You know, like I like I like Brantford. I like Brantford Marsalis. I like how he approaches the saxophone. Mm -hmm. So I checked him out. I like uh, I like Mad Lib and Jay Dillon, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I checked them out, mm -hmm. you know, but these are all preferences. Mm -hmm. So it is coming from you in mm -hmm. a way, mm -hmm. you know, you prefer that stuff because it vibrates with mm -hmm. you. So it's like, you know, some people they're like, oh, you have to do, you have to like make this magic potion and like drink it and turn around six times. It's like, nah, it's not that complicated. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's about, it's all about preferences. Mm -hmm. You know, like I prefer to play in a very rhythmically uh, inclined way mm. when I play on the horn mm. you know I feel like I'm part of the rhythm section you know and that's one of the things that makes me stand out from most tenor players you mm. know there's a lot of tenor players out here they're like playing in the altissimo all the time and mm. you know playing all this like very complex uh, harmo harmonic stuff that's cool mm -hmm. but like I like to riff with the band I feel like James Brown sometimes yeah. when I'm playing with the band mm. so that's some something that kind of made me stick out and uh, uh, gave me kind of like a personal touch to the way that I approach the instrument. Mm. And um, and I, what I found is that once you know what your preferences are, don't be scared of them. And also you can apply it to just about anything. Like, I, I've, like I'm learning several woodwind instruments and it's like effortlessly, it feels like I can have my own voice on them mm. because like I already know what my preferences are you know yeah. like it's it's like once you under you understand what it is about you that makes you you it's like it's going to come out it's, gonna, it's just going to ooze out and no 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 matter what context that you put it in so you're saying for young musicians like Sam or I don't know if, if Sam is a young musician himself but any young <laughs> musician who's listening that the way to really finding your sound is finding you first mm -hmm. also knowing what are the sounds that you like that you prefer yeah. that you simply connect being to in touch with your preferences with your, you know mm -hmm. instead of like I must like this yeah like, no what do you like yeah you know um, and I think that's really cool. Once again, bringing back this idea of artists like Roy, like you, like mm -hmm. Glasper, who are rooted in the tradition, mm -hmm. but also are not afraid to explore mm -hmm. textures and sounds that are true to us in this current time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I know it's a constant debate in like the jazz scene, oh you know, like the different schools of like straight ahead music yeah. and like mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. um, but being true to you is 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 what it's about